Hey, I'm Gopar and this is another video in the Emacs Goodies series. Today we're going to be looking about something or a package called white space mode. So white space mode essentially lets you visualize white space in your files. Not surprising from the name, right? So, but honestly, I've never really used this package besides the functionality, besides one function that I use on a before save hook, which I will demonstrate right now. So if I go to white space, Let's go right here. This is my white space configuration. This has been the configuration I think since I started using Emacs. Like the moment I found out about this, I created this and haven't changed it because it's worked amazing for me. And while making this video, I realized that there's some other stuff that this that this provides. So hopefully we'll just highlight that, go over them quickly. But yeah, so white space mode. How does the configuration look? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's go ahead and jump. So white space, major, minor mode to visualize tab, hard space, and new lines. So there's a bit of commentary there. You can always read it. It always has some good stuff, but I won't go over that because this is just supposed to be short and sweet. All right. So like I was saying in my configuration, I only have white space cleanup. What does that do? Well, one of the things that I find this more useful is let's say, for example, we are in this file and for whatever reason, oh, well, I need to activate white space mode for you to actually see what it does. So this is white space mode in action. As you can see, it visualizes white space with just dots. And if you would use a new line, it's going to use a dollar sign to say, hey, this is where a new line is, is at. And if you use tabs, it will show this little double angle brackets. OK, so white space cleanup, what does it do? Well, let's say that you are the type of person or you're editing a file that always leaves a lot of space. Like this, as you can see, it's already highlighting in red. It's like saying, hey, what are you doing? I don't think that's valid. And let's say you end your files like this. I've been, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but I've reviewed some PRs where Git just shows like, hey, there's a lot of white space. There's like new lines with just like that. And you can avoid a lot of that if you just use that hook that I showed in the beginning. And when you do Control X, Control S for saving, it just automatically removes everything, cleans it up. Now let's go back to how it was right here. And if we run a function called white space report, it will show you all the things that is good or bad with with your buffer. And it even gives you some some tips type meta x white space cleanup, which is what we're doing the function that I just used to clean up and clean up region. So you can do a particular region if you just want to clean that part up. And of course, I'll leave it to you to read on, up on this if you're interested in using this for day to day operations. OK, so I'm going to run it, clean it up. There's another mode as well called white space. Uh, let me get rid of this white space new line mode. If you just want to see the new new lines and are not interested in the white space and tabs. So that's something that you can definitely use as well. Uh, I'll leave it to you to read more of the documentation, but that's pretty much a high level view on how to use this. And of course, you can customize everything that you need or want with this with this mode. As you can see, there's a good amount of customizations that you can do. So all up to you if you want to go ahead and go crazy or just be like me, just use that white space cleanup function and you're good to go. So yeah, tell me what you think. Hopefully this was short and sweet as usual. But yeah. Take care. Remember, knowledge grows when it is shared. Thanks.